Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Can Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. I've done a few videos now customizing Honey, three versions of the original Honey, two food inspired dolls, Melanie the Watermelon Girl, and Honey Buns the Cheeseburger Magical Girl. Now let me introduce you to a new face. Meet Sweetie. Sweetie obviously has three eyes. She also has pointed ears and a happy expression. I'm going to 3D print her off screen and get started with the face up. So yeah, here she is. She turned out really cool. I'm really happy with the face. I'm really excited to get started with the face up. The concept today was inspired by the three eyes. For three eyes, we're going to do three flavors of ice cream. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Those three flavors create Neapolitan. As usual, I'm going to lay out the eyes with my Copper Beach watercolor pencil. After I do one side, I'll do the other side off screen. Now let's work on the third eye. Cool, that looks pretty good so far. Now let's add some blush with some pink pan pastel. Next, I'm going to add some highlight to the cheeks with my white pastel. Now using some watered down rose pink acrylic paint, I'm going to give her some freckles. After that, I'm going to continue to build out my blush and highlight with my pastels. Now using my Dewart Inktense Ink Black watercolor pencil, I'm going to color in all the brown areas black. Alright cool, now let's continue to add some freckles, but this time they're going to be white. Once I'm happy with the amount of freckles, I'm going to fill up some highlight with my white pastel. After that, I'm going to use my Copper Beach watercolor pencil to add some creases to the upper eyelid.
Alright, now I'm going to use my pink watercolor pencil to color in the waterline. Using a white watercolor pencil, I'm going to add some texture to the lip and then blend it out. Alright, now I'm going to use my dark brown pastel to shade the eyelids. After that, I'll use a dark brown acrylic paint to give her some more freckles. Alright, awesome! Now I'm going to use my Burnt Santa Extra Dark Pen Pastel to really contour those eyes. Then I'll give her some bottom lashes with my black watercolor pencil. Using the same dark brown pastel from earlier, I'm going to shade the base of the eyelashes. Alright, awesome! Now I'm going to use my red pan pastel to really contour the lip. I'm going to shade the center and the crease. After that, I'll use some watered down black acrylic paint to paint over the eyeliner. Cool, I think that's pretty good for the face up. Alright, next up is eyelashes. I'm using some Kiss brand faux eyelashes. Like usual, I'm just going to measure them and cut them to length. After that, I'll apply glue to the inner edge of the eye and the eyelash. Then I'll plop them on and fuss at them a little bit until I'm happy with the position. I'm going to do both sides and set it aside to dry. Then I'll move on to the upper eye. I'll be using two halves of two different eyelashes. I'll do the left side and then the right side. There's a small gap in the center, but I'll just put another eyelash right in the middle. Cool, that looks pretty good. Alright, now let's add some gloss. I'll be glossing the eyes and the mouth. 
for the eyes, I'll just be glossing the waterline. And while I do that, I just say thank you so much for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. Now let's move on to the eyes. For the eyes, there's obviously three. We'll be painting them three different colors. Pink, brown, and cream. I'm going to start with the pink, do the brown, and for the cream, it's actually a pastel. I'll do the rest off screen. Next up is the accessories. Here are the ice cream heels that I 3D modeled. The front of the heel is a scoop of ice cream with whipped cream and strawberry on top. The back of a heel is a scoop of ice cream with an ice cream cone. I'll be painting both heels Neapolitan colors. Each heel will be unique and have a different placement of colors. I'll do the base color for all three flavors and then dry brush a lighter color. Then I'll paint the whipped cream and the strawberry. For the cone, I did a base layer of tan off screen. I also started doing a dark brown wash. Cool, now let's move on to the wig. Off screen, I prepped a wig cap and painted it. It's of course divided into three colors. A pink section, a brown section, and a cream section. I'll be filling each section with the appropriate color of yarn west. I prepped those off screen and we're just going to start gluing this on. I started with the brown section, moved on to the cream section, and then did the pink section. I'm going to finish the wig off screen. Now let's paint some strawberry hair accessories. I'll be using acrylic paint. I decided to do all of the wig styling off screen. It's a swirly Rococo-esque updo. It was really challenging for me to style, so that's why I filmed it off screen. In the end, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really pretty and kind of looks like soft serve ice cream. Now let's decorate it. To do this, I'll be using some flowers, those strawberries I painted earlier, and some bows.
I painted the roses off screen before this, but then decided to glue on some white baby's breath all over unpainted. Later on, I'll regret this and end up painting them. I'm going to add the pink bows and then the white bows. I didn't have any brown ribbon on hand so I went out and bought some and added those off screen. The next part of the video is the outfit. Let's jump right in. I'm going to be dyeing some trim and some fabric. I'll start off by boiling the water and adding some salt. I'll shake up the dye and then add that. Then I'll dye the trim. I'm going to deal with the rest of this off screen. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The base garment is a bustier. Let's start by working on the front panel. I'll be adding some ribbon to make a faux lacing. It's going to crisscross down center front. I'm going to measure the placement and mark that. Then we'll start gluing on the ribbon. I'll alternate the sides and work my way down. I'm just going to let this dry off screen. Now let's start sewing. I'm going to start by sewing all the pink fabric. I'll sew the outer shell and the lining at the same time. I'll sew the two side seams, and then sew the sock. The sock is a pink mesh. I'm going to hem and sew the back seam with a zigzag stitch. After I sew the sock, I'll trim off the excess and turn it inside out. Cool, that looks great. Now let's connect the pink fabric to the brown fabric. I'm going to sew the front princess seam, and then do the back. I'll do the same thing for the lining off screen. I'll do the same process for the white pieces. I'll start by sewing the sock, and then go back to the bustier. Alright, now that both sides look the same, we'll be connecting the lining to the outer shell. I'll be sewing the top neckline opening and the two leg openings. Alright, cool. Before I flip it inside out, I'm going to trim off the excess and finish it with some pre check. After I flip it inside out, I'm going to press it off screen and start a Velcro closure. 
I did one side, I'm just going to flip it over and do the other side. After that, I'll sew the bottom center back. For the crotch, I'm just going to use some super glue. I'm going to fold over the excess and glue it. Measure it, and then glue it again. Cool, now let's add some trim. So here's the original, and here's the trim that I dyed. I'm just going to glue them along the princess seams. This will frame the center front panel and look really nice. Wow, this looks really good so far, but of course she needs more. We're going to be giving her some panniers. I designed and 3D printed these. I painted one white and one pink. I tacked them to the bustier at the front, the side, and the back. Now let's add some tool. I'm just going to be tacking it to the side. I'm going to fold this slightly offset, and then fold it again. Then I'll put the thread through the bustier and then tack it to the garment. I'm going to continue to add tool until I'm happy with the fullness, and then I'll do the same thing for the other colors. Alright, awesome! Now that her outfit is nice and poofy, let's add some flowers. Of course, we're going to super glue these on. I'm going to sprinkle them all over and keep the colors in the appropriate section. Again, I'm going to do some roses and some baby spread. This time I painted the baby's breath before I put them on. Later on off screen I also decided to add some rhinestones. I also gave her a brown satin ribbon choker. I also just realized that I gave her some gloves. I painted her hands white and pink and added some lace trim later on. The finishing touch are these super cute ice cream earrings. I'm going to use acrylic paint to paint them. One will be vanilla and one will be strawberry. After that, I'll glue them to the appropriate ear. And with that, the doll's complete. So yeah, here she is. Here's the finished result. I really love how she turned out. I think she looks really awesome. I love her three eyes. They're so cool. I definitely want to use this face mold in the future for more dolls. It's really fun to do. Her knee pulp and theme worked out perfectly. I really love doing these food dolls and I want to do more in the future. One person commented on my last video and actually guessed this doll. If you have any ideas for other dolls in the future, let me know. We're now entering the spooky season, and very shortly you'll be having some spooky dolls. Eventually at some point I will be going back to this theme because it's really fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and like the video if you liked it. For the rest of the video, just enjoy these awesome photos.
thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!